I'm very happy to speak up for the social sciences whose future at the moment seems to me distinctly under threat and I congratulate the organisers uh, on this event. I hope that the campaign will make visible the enormous impact that the social sciences have upon the world. To me, this impact is often, as it were, disguised. I mean, I work with quite a few politicians, journalists, uh, TV people. The present company always accepted, of course. It seems to me that most such people do not know where they get their ideas from, where, and where they get their data from. Where do they get their ideas and data from? Well, from the accumulated intellectual capital of the social sciences in the universities as a long-term continuing endeavor. I don't think it's too difficult to list the, the significance, the practical impact that the social sciences have upon the world and have upon government. And my, my little list will be as follows. Uh, first, I think often underestimated driving force of ideas. Ideas have a massive impact in politics, for example. I mean, if you look at the, the post-war period, there was a kind of consensus around the welfare state uh, among different parties, shaped by my predecessor at the LSE, Beveridge, by Titmus, by T.H. Marshall. Without that intellectual work, you simply would not have had that, that period of, of politics. It was supplanted by systems that not everyone here might necessarily like by the impact of, of neoliberal or, or Chicago economics. But what a massive impact that has had upon the world. Now we're in a third period where we have to rethink economic and social theory in the wake of the recession and in terms of the problems of a sustainable uh, global industrial civilization. That work is not going to come from think tanks. That work is going to come from social scientists working in universities. Second, sort of obvious point, coherent policy isn't possible without the intensive, continuous work that social scientists uh, do in universities. And thirdly, you must check on the consequences of policy. I mean, politicians might not always like it, but you have to check on whether or not policies are, are effective. And you cannot do that without uh, systematic involvement of university-based social scientists. I think it's not just the social sciences. It's, it's the fact that the, role, the wider role of universities I mean, one of the reasons, uh, David will forgive me, I was very unhappy with universities' re re reforms put through by the government, indeed by the Brown Report, is that the Brown Report does not recognise the public role of universities. And I, I think the social sciences are one part of that, but they are a, a core part of the impact that universities make in our culture. I just close with my four minutes with just three qualifications on this, which I would suggest to the organisers of this event and the campaign in general. First of all, I feel rather strongly it should not be just a national affair. I think it is important, I don't know if this has been done, but to get internationally renowned social scientists from other countries in to endorse and play a part in this campaign because the social sciences are global, their impact is global, it's not just national. To me, very important to do this and to also publicise the campaign overseas and perhaps network with social scientists in other countries. A second, it seems to me important to provide systematic data on the impact of the social sciences on the world. Not enough just to quote a few isolated examples like here is ageing, here is the structure of the NHS, here is this, here is that. I think it, the work that should be done around this campaign should itself be systematic because that's true to the nature of the social sciences. And thirdly, I don't, you know, I don't know how you feel about this, the audience or the organisers, but I'm not so sure the social sciences should just go it alone. I, I think in, in the current situation, social sciences, the arts and humanities are all under some substantial threat. <coughs> in universities and uh, I feel a more broad-based campaign might be in order alongside the specific one to promote the social sciences, uh, which I do wish every success and I must say I'm very impressed with the literature and work that has been produced so far. Thank you.